Hi, it's Angry Admin here, and what we stuck today on is an update. Or rather, an ability to do the upgrade, as both stage only and stage and install are grey out and not active. I have a case open with viewer and we are chasing cat and mouses, uh, but because this is the very high vulnerability, I need to patch that system ASAP. Therefore, I show you today how to do it from ISO. Let's get to it. So first thing first, you need to download the ISO file from VMware website. And of course, you have to log in with your credential to support a page and you can select version and download it. Once you download ISO, now you have to just upload that to your data store. So you click on your data store and you choose the folder which you want to go to. You click on upload files and you point your ISO. Now, the upload should start it. Like, should you receive error message, then it means that you have to download the root trust root certificate from um, from the starting page on your on your vCenter. Now we need to attach that ISO to our vCenter VM, and we're doing this by clicking on the edit settings and attach ISO from data store, like on the video. Once this done, just SSH to your vCenter and if you see this screen, you are in a good place. If you see the normal, like a bash shell, then you have to go back to the appliance shell by typing this command. It's appliance sh because an upgrade can be done only from appliance shell. Okay, folks, let's stage our ISO by typing this command software package stage dash dash ISO, you will see it will mount the ISO and it will stage uh, our upgrade. And now we need to press enter a few times to go through the license agreement and type yes on the end of it. And now we are actually ready to start our upgrade. The command is software package install staged and then you have to put your SSO admin password and then installation will kick in. Now this script will go through the phases and it will take a while so I will speed up a video a bit to make it quicker. And as you see the installation process completed successfully, which means we are okay to re-log into our vCenter and you will see that change. In any case, guys, that's everything what I have for you today. Please like and subscribe. And if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and see you in the next video.